Good evening, everyone. I'm Nicole Perez. And I'm Calvin Hughes. And here's a look at the stories making news on this Monday night. Tragedy in Louisville, Kentucky today after four people were killed in a bank shooting by an employee. 23-year-old Connor Sturgeon was reportedly notified that he was going to be terminated and left a note for his parents saying that he was going to shoot up the bank. He reportedly used a rifle and live streamed the attack before being killed during a shootout with officers. At least nine people were injured, including two officers responding, one of whom remains in critical condition. And today, police release new details about the officer involved shooting that left one man dead in plantation. They say 44 year old Homea Spence Jr. pulled a firearm from his waistband and pointed it at officers at the plantation inn along North State Road 7 Saturday afternoon. Officers were forced to fire back at the suspect. He later died at the scene. Authorities say the suspect had a stolen firearm as a convicted felon and according to relatives Spence Jr did have mental health issues. The wife of an NFL star who was killed when he was hit by a dump truck on the highway has filed a lawsuit over his death. The lawsuit claims Dwayne Haskins was drugged and targeted as part of a blackmail and robbery conspiracy. The lawsuit lists more than a dozen defendants, including the dump truck driver and the Florida Department of Transportation. It also blames several businesses, including 11 Nightclub in Miami and Drive Shack in West Palm Beach, saying they allowed patrons to drug other people. And only on 10 surveillance video shows the crooks stealing jewelry right in front of unsuspecting employees. Angelo Strano was arrested after police say he used a distraction theft scheme to target several Kohl's locations across South Florida. And according to police, he would ask for expensive items at the jewelry counter and swap those items with fake ones before leaving with the real jewelry. As breaking news happens, we have you covered on air and online. You can always go to our website for more information, local10.com. Be safe out there and see you back tomorrow.